It's chilly out today. It's 30 degrees. I'll have to check. But if you didn't already see by the title, and if you can't see this right here, this is what they call a camp stove. <laughs> So these are, well, they're propane stoves. This isn't really a backpacking stove. I don't have one. But I'm going to show you how to set one of these up because they're, they can be tricky sometimes. Okay, so on the bottom of mine has this little panel that you can lift up. And inside, well, on the inside it has this grate. And then it has this little piece. Now this little piece, I don't know what it's called, I'm just going to call it a connector. The connector piece, you have to have it when you have your grill. If you don't have this piece, then you can't work with your grill. So, you open up your grill. I'm not gonna put on the wind flaps right now, but if you were if it was particularly windy, you would have these flaps on there to kind of guard it. So then, oh, I'm gonna place guard the holes. There we go. There's two little little plates for your stuff to hold on to. So now I'll spin this around here. This little hole. This little hole right here is where the propane is going to be attached. Um, so it's going to be... Nope, oh, okay. This little end right here is where the propane attaches into here. So you push that in and screw it in. Sorry about the noise about the table. It's metal. So I have this little, this little propane fuel tank. It's rusty and it's little old. So, you have this. You can use any type of propane. You can use the propane that you use in grills. You can probably not use a lighter. But if you use a grill uh, propane tank, then you'll have a hose that comes with it. Or, well, you'll use a hose and you'll just leave it on the ground attached to this piece. So, as I already said, this little connector piece is going to screw into here. And you want to make sure that it stays tight. Because if it isn't tight, the gas is going to leak and it will come out. So that means, once you think it's screwed in, try it. Pull, try and pull it out. That's what people always get wrong, is they say, oh, okay, it's tight. I'm going to try and pull it out. Okay, there we go, it's good. So I pulled it out. Okay, so I screwed it in and pulled it out. So next is you take this piece, and you're going to do basically the same thing with the propane. You're going to stick it in there and screw it in. This can be a little hard your first couple of times, especially since I don't use these propane tanks a lot. So, when you get it stuck in, you should have a working propane stove. But the only way to check way to check to see if your propane stove is working or not. Take it, turn it. There will be a little sound. It'll sound like if you turn your stove on in your house. It'll sound like that when you turn on and then you can take a lighter. If it doesn't light right away, make sure to pull it back and leave it to turn on. So there, my stove is on, 
I don't know how much fuel is in here. That's basically how you set up a propane stove. I don't have a backpacking stove, but they're basically the same thing, except this is all like one piece, and the thing that you put your pots and stuff on sits on top of this, and there's a little stand holding this. So, to show you that it does work, it's cold, I'm going to make some hot chocolate for myself. So, I'll see you in a sec. So now the one thing about this hot chocolate, I'm using milk. Can't really tell that it's milk, but it's milk. So, the one thing about this, this is six ounces. You don't want it to be boiling hot. I mean, it's it's just this packaged hot chocolate stuff, the Swiss Miss. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let this this milk get hot, and then we'll make ourselves some hot chocolate. I got a little little ho 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 cup over there, a little Christmassy cup. So, yeah. It looks as if my milk is actually starting to boil. Okay. Well, that's hot. <laughs> Let's take my little little Christmassy mug here. Ho ho ho. Now we're gonna take our little Swiss Miss package. Now we're gonna open it up. So dump the hot chocolate in. There we go, there's that. Now we're gonna take our nice warm milk now we're gonna pour it into here ooh steamy let me clean let me clean that off for ya hold on a minute there's that better <laughs> so we have our hot chocolate over here. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna stir this. Because I may not have a spoon. You can always clean a knife. The only thing is wash your knife before you use it. I didn't so if I don't make any videos for a long time, you may know why. <laughs> I got sick and died. So lots of stirring. I'm gonna make sure there's not a whole lot in here. It's about a half a cup. Which I mean is okay for me because I didn't want to make a full, full cup. So that should be good. All right, let's let's try it out here. Ooh, I can feel that's warm. This cup is hot. All right, you ready? Here we go. Drinking some stove hot chocolate. It's like making it on a stove. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, but it's good. It's good hot chocolate, but it's hot. Ooh, I can feel it run through me. The only bad thing about this stove in particular if you have small pots like this they tend to fall over and they make that nasty squeaking sound but happy holidays to everyone as you can see there's a there's a little bit of snow on the ground here so I just thought since I had this out already might as well make a little video on it so hope you guys enjoyed my little hot coffee video, or not hot coffee, uh, hot chocolate video. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. You know what I always say? Stay fresh, cheese bags.